Hello, how's everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. I think it is. It is. It's Tuesday. Um, let me go over here and let's see if we can invite our VIP people in. I have had a busy day today. Oh, my title says, let's gather together and call and talk. No, it's supposed to be chalk and talk. I told you I've had a busy day today. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Um, welcome to Chocolat One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chocotour. I'm glad you're here today. If you're catching the replay, let me know. Like and follow my Facebook page and um, sprinkle this to your friends on Facebook. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, so... Um, some of you may know I'm a hospice nurse and I have one little girl that I see regularly. She's kind of holding her own right now, which is great news. Um, but I'm, I'm semi-retired. I work PRN that's as needed or if, when, and, when and if I want to, which is really kind of a great place to be. It gives me a lot of time to do my chalking. Um, but one of my friends, my nurses, was um, not feeling well today, so she asked if I could go see her patient, which I did. I was happy to do that. Gorgeous drive. They live up on top of a mountain. It overlooks uh, Lake Ponderay. Absolutely stunning. What a magnificent man. He built that house. They had, the land has been in their family for 80 years, and um, just a neat story, but he was um, on his way out. And so I got home and then I got a call that he had passed. And so I was asked if I could go and do the pronouncement. So I did that and I just got home. So I usually come on at four o'clock and today I'm coming on at, oh, just around five. So um, anyways, I'm happy to be here. This is my fun place. I love being here in this little room. My husband even got some of the, um, <laughs> exercise equipment out so I have more space which means I'll have to find another way I haven't have not been very loyal to my elliptical machine for quite a few months so I appreciate the space I have <clears throat> I appreciate my husband for taking care of that for me um, yesterday we made these cute little guys little stuffy pumpkins and I need to make one more because I don't know if you know but um, Decorating is better in odds, so, you know, three, five, seven, um, depending on how large your project is. But aren't they cute? They're just, it's just, it was a canvas bag, and, you know, I ordered these online, so they were like less than, um, a, they might have been like a dollar fifty each. I cut it apart, and I just used ink and inked these from our um, pumpkin cutout pattern. So, and put a little embellishment on top. So we have those. And then I have this piece of wood. It's just a, I don't know, how big is this? It is six inches high by 12, six by 12. And I'm just gonna make a little, um, I might, I have some little feet coming. And so we might make a little riser tray out of it. And I just thought it would be cute to put our pumpkins on here. So, we might get a, be able to get another one done. But we're gonna put the word, this is our gather vines transfer. This is a B size, eight and a half by 11. And um, so we're gonna try this today. First, what I'm going to do is paint it. And I have made this board, I don't know if you can see it, oh, you can see it. I've made this board. And so I thought I'd try and complement this a little bit. It'd be cute to have kind of an ensemble, ensemble. So, and this was just, this was painted with our chalk paste. So that's what we're gonna repeat that. And I'm gonna use the same color. And that is pesto, one of my favorite colors. So we're gonna open this up, grab some stir sticks. So tell me how your day was. Mine was different than what I thought it was going to be, but isn't that the case? 
this is looks this consistency looks really good this is the old formula and um, but this looks really good like just a little squirt if you have to add water to your paste use distilled water to help prevent any mold growing in it and that's better and we're just going to paint this anyway so I'm going to put a nice big dollop of this on one of our little color trays and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it and make some paint out of it. I don't want it thin like watercolor, um, but just a little bit thicker than that so it spreads. That looks good. I've got my paintbrush here. And I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water on my board. Oh, I just realized, I think I did actually already wax this board, so we'll see if that paint sticks. We might have to revert to acrylic paint. Let's see. Let's just experiment. What the heck? I think it's going to be okay. Might even be pretty for it to be kind of distressed looking. I think it would be. Just get it on there. I like that our um, chalk paste is so versatile. You can do different things like this with it. bit more water. It's drying a little bit up there. Dries fast too. That's another good thing about the chalk paste. like that. Leave kind of the edges a little bit white. Let's dry that and see what we have. And then we'll wax it. You, hey Barb, you have reception in the campground. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's my kind of camping right there. <laughs> Bless your heart. Are you camping? Are you in the woods or in the mountains or at the lake? Where is your campsite set up at? dark wax today because this is a, a fall project and I like things a little darker. It's going to help us from pulling up that chalk paste we just put down, I hope. Warm that up in the wax a little bit first. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining tonight. 
Woods and Lake. Oh, how lovely. Lamping. I have to look over here. Can't see those. In the woods, on Lake more Like glamping, we have a beautiful travel trailer. How nice is that? That makes it fun, I think. That's my kind of camping. I used to camp when I was a kid. We camped all the time in a tent. And back then it was, we had, my parents had an annual campground at Lake Berryessa. And they had an old icebox fridge. Uh, ice box um, and so we would take blocks of ice up to it and um, they would just leave everything set up up there all all summer long they reserved it I guess that's how that works so all right there's our surface kind of just striations of the green watered down it feels really nice feels really nice set that aside set that aside Let me get our transfer open and figure out where I'm going to place this. <clears throat> It'll probably be off-centered. And this definitely needs a fuzzing, a good fuzzing. So if you're new and you don't know what that is, our transfers are adhesive and they're sticky on the back and so we put some fiber on them some from either the fuzzing cloth or your sweatshirt or whatever it is hi Mona good evening Mona do you go by Lisa or Mona I, I see people calling you different so I don't want to I want to I want to say the right name for you I hope you're having a good evening. This one is sticky. Wow, well, boy, it's really sticky. And I, I think I said this the other day, this, it feels, this vinyl, it feels a little bit thicker to me. I don't know if that's possible or if that's true or not, but it does to me. So maybe we'll put this down here toward the bottom. Let's see if my little pumpkins are gonna fit on here even. I think they will. And it doesn't really look straight. The line is up on the edge of this. It has a tiny beveled edge on this wood. That looks better. And Now I'm thinking I was going to use our um, papaya that we used on this pumpkin, but I don't know if I want that bright of a color for the lettering. And let's see if we'll be able to, I wonder if I'll be able to get any of these little elements in it. Let's kind of lay this, lay our map out first. My name is Mona Lisa and my family and friends call me Lisa. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy to call you Mona Lisa. That's a beautiful name. Were you named after the, the painting? That's unique. I was named after my um, great-grandmother. Oh, sh shoot. Let's start that over. Back down you go. And these 
these these little these little things they I just I really just don't get them. Maybe we'll be able to curve that. Let me see if I get more that look like that. I guess that kind of curves. Let's see if I can connect it. We're not going to get those little flowers though. Maybe if I go this way. I think I've done I did this transfer once before and I had a I had problems figuring out these little pieces also on that one. And that doesn't want to go the right way. Bear with me. <laughs> right. I like this one though because it's got those little flowers up there and I think we might incorporate those. So maybe we'll just go with that. I think I'm too tired to try and figure it out tonight. Let's see what our dune looks like on that and then maybe we can put in hints of the uh, papaya. But I did like this dune and pesto combination together. I liked it. So let's do this first and see if we like it. Let me just do a piece of it and see if I like the coloring on it. Oh, I do. Okay. All right. We're good. Because if I didn't, we could just wipe it off. I should have asked you if you liked it. I'll show you. I'm going to stop by the consignment shop for the first time tomorrow. She's um, drop off my contract. I'm so excited about that because I need a place to put some of this stuff. My halls and walls can only hold so much. <laughs> my husband will second that. Okay, and then you just go through and skim off the extra, put it back in your jar. Oh gosh, I love doing this. It is, after such a hectic day, I, th I think it's so relaxing to come in here and play with this. That's nice, I like it. I'm gonna wash this in my tub of water here. And the paste just comes right off the front. I'm using a board eraser. That's a little white spongy thing that we use. I think they're I think they're pretty important to have. Dry this over here. Uh oh, where'd my paper towels go? Oh, they're way over there. Just a second. Needed them. My husband had grease all over his fingers from putting the door back on. So let me check here for a second. Oh. Thanks, Mona. Uh, you know what? You're gonna be Mona. That's how I. That's how I met you on Facebook, and that's how it's gonna stay. <laughs> okay. So this is what we have so far. It's it's light, but I don't want. A real bold statement on this. I just want the sentiment just just barely whispering to us. Okay now I'm gonna do this in pesto. I think we'll do it in pesto. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick tonight. So this is our pesto. This is what we use to paint with. So we'll just put, use a little bit darker version of it. Let's 
scan it down. And lift that up. Ooh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Let me wash this off. If you've tried Chalk Couture before, um, you know what I'm talking about when you lift that transfer up and reveal that design that went down, transferred down through that silk screen. Oh, there's just nothing like it. Okay, well then we're gonna dry this. So this is what we have so far. Simple, pretty, neat. Let me try this. Find the switch. I don't even know what I'm making for dinner yet. Do you have any ideas for me? <laughs> it might be it might be a salad, I think. I'll make a salad. And then I have a staff meeting tomorrow on Thursday. We're going to um, Spokane is the big, a really big city that's our closest one. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away. I'm going to pick up my brother-in-law, and he's going to come visit us for a week. He's coming from Florida. So we're pretty excited about that. Trying to get things ready for, you know, company when they come. Okay, now for what I was going to show you... I saw, you know what this little tool is? I saw Christina Dan do this the other night. And I haven't used this little tool yet. It looks interesting. Um, you have Mexican, oh my gosh, I love Mexican food. Yeah, Barb Mike is coming. Oh, I love Mexican food. We had, I had that on Friday. It was delicious. Anyways, yeah, Mike's coming. We're so excited. Um, anyways, this little tool comes in our artist toolkit, and it's got a, it's got a little spongy tip to it. So let's take let's get a little bit of papaya on here since we're gonna put our cute little papaya pumpkin on there, and let's just add some little dots of this too. Just get a little bit on the tip of your. Try it and see. And we'll just add a little bit of color to these little tiny, I don't know, they kind of look like flowers to me. It gives a little definition. Oops, that's a little bit too much. So this is kind of fun. Leaves a little like circle almost. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I'll try and hold it up for you. She did it with red for kind of made like um, holly berries or I think she was doing the new mistletoe transfer. But it leaves a little, looks nice. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Can you see that? Just a tiny bit of color on there. That's kind of fun. That's what we have. Let me dry that. I don't know if the pumpkins are gonna go on there at all. Thank you, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. So that's, I guess that's one thing you can do with that little tool. And just in the water, it'll just wash off. And then I do, like I said, you're supposed to, you should, for a good 
I don't know what it's called. I'm not a decorator. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm even really a crafter, but I, I love doing this. It's so easy. I feel like a crafter doing it. And so let's see if we can, if our little, is that dry? Those are pretty dry. Maybe even just one on there would be cute. This is the one that didn't have very much rice in it. So. I don't even know if we could get three on there. You, we could get three if I did another one. But anyways, that's kind of what I was thinking. I think it's cute. I have that, but I don't know what to do with it. Right, Mona? I know. That's what that's what I was thinking. So that's what that's that's one thing you can do with it if you want. <laughs> so that's our design for tonight. I think it came out cute for kind of flying by the seat of my pants tonight. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this. Sprinkle this to your friends. And I'll be back tomorrow, probably around four o'clock again. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yep, should be here. And so we'll chalk and talk again. And until then, take good care.